Hi everyone, welcome back. So don't mind my hair. I broke my promise. I had to straighten my hair. I wanted to see how long it got because I know I haven't done an update in I think like almost two months now about like using the um, sugar bear hair vitamins. So I just did this. Um, I'll show you that when I'm done. But I'm actually here to actually do a uh, makeup view, like a makeup uh, look with using the Revlon, well, Makeup Forever, Makeup Revlon. Those two things confuse me all the time. I hate it. But um, this is the Wild Animal Palette. I actually purchased this from TJ Maxx for legit $4.99. And I was like, oh, cool. My, like, the thing is, is that my TJ Maxx around here does not have a lot. Does not have a lot. Like, it, it's like you go and it's like a hit or miss kind of thing. And I went on Wednesday of, like, last week. And I was like, oh, there's a lot of stuff here. So I was like, you know what? I can't pass up the opportunity to buy, like, makeup palettes at least because they're affordable but yeah so I did uh purchase this one I wasn't too nervous about getting this one because again it was it's covered like it had this all over it so sorry that was probably loud so I didn't think I would have like an issue with uh using it so this is what the palette is let me show you Oh, it's so pretty. Ooh, I am okay. So it's broken. I had high hopes, but hopefully I could fix it. The plastic kind of shield it from falling over. But yeah, so if you want to see what I create, just keep on watching. <laughs> something fell and it did um I could not save the one color um and I can't really show you because it literally is about to fall out and it did Hopefully I can make this work because I'm kind of upset now that it's broken. All right, so as you could tell, I already primed my eyes and did all of that. So I am going to wipe this off. And I used the Derma Blend setting, well, illuminating, whatever, illuminating um, banana powder to set it. And it kind of worked nicely when I did my other video. So I basically continued to use it. All right. Um, so I'm going to... Let me see. Mm, all right. I'm going to try and see what I can really create using this. So... I can't really like show you exactly what colors I'm using, but I'm going to go into this shade right here. Oh, well, I can actually show you. All right. So I'm going to take that shade as my transition shade, which I kind of think that the setting powder kind of does it for me. I hope everybody's week is going well. I was so stressed out like for the last two days and now it's like I'm okay because I'm thinking like the semester's ending. So I just have a few more assignments to do and then I'm pretty much done. And 
and I'm kind of glad about that. All right, so that kind of didn't show up on my lids. I don't even know why I thought it would, but I'm going to use actually a different blending brush because I want to see, I haven't used this brush as you can tell, it's like new. It's the E12 brush from Bling Brushes. So I'm going to take this shade and I'm going to do this shade right here which is a like a lighter brown shade. I'm hoping that I can make this work. So that's a lot. Oh, I love these brushes. They're so nice and soft and like you can feel it soft like the softness on your lids. know what's going on I don't really see anything can you like not that you guys are really going to be able to answer me but besides the point I don't know if you can really see anything I may just have to actually go in with a darker color it might have been the banana um powder that I used I don't know. Let me see if I use this mirror. I guess it kind of showed up a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to use, I think I want to do a darker color. Um, that's more of a shimmer. I don't have anything to wipe. Okay, so I think I'm going to take this shade right right here and i'm going to use my e15 brush and take this and go right here i was supposed to get um a package today well technically yesterday i was supposed to get this package and the office is saying that it's not there but when i go to look at like the tracking it says that it's there like it was delivered and every time i call them they are like oh it's not here we haven't gotten it and then they tell me well we also haven't gotten through most of the packages yet because we have been um because they always sort the packages and so they said that they're still in the process of sorting packages so i'm like why are you guys taking so long to organize these packages like don't you guys have like enough people there in the office to to do that so I don't know what the heck is going on in there and it's so annoying because they do this all the time. They always say, oh, you don't have a package, but then you really do and they just don't want to look. They should really just have a better system. Like I honestly think that they should have like at each building, like a little drop off package thing for each building and like the off the the tenant should have the key to the little box for their own individual like drop off like i feel like they should do it that way because we have enough room by the steps like 
the steps go like this. It's like this wide because on both sides there's doors. And then on the sides there are balconies. Like there's um like a balcony thing. And in between the railings and the balcony, there's a big like opening like right there. So they can literally easily put like two things for like the each person because there's literally two. So there's in, through the door there's two two apartments in each side so the ones this way and the ones up they could easily put two things on the sides where people can get their packages instead of them having to go to the office and then they like all they got to do is just give their own individual key to open up the box to be able to get your package like it's just it's annoying and then they want to get mad at you when you call them to find out if your package is there like we bought our packages. Why are you getting mad at us? Because you have to sort them. Like, it just aggravates me. It aggravates me. I just don't like that. Sorry, I'm just trying to blend this out because I'm trying to like... So I'm going to take another brush. Where is it? I'm gonna take my my little brush like this. This is the M thirty two one brush. They must have a lot of brushes for them to be at this number. All right, I'm gonna take that same color and I'm just going to fan it out. But yeah, like it just aggravates me because they get mad at you for wanting to get your own package. If you don't want to sort packages, then that shouldn't be a feature for their apartments. I shouldn't have to wait a whole week to get my own package. Like, I shouldn't have to do that. And I'm like upset because the woman that worked in the office, she used to call us to let us know that we have a package or she'll put it to the side where my dad knows to go look and they don't have her there anymore. So now we have to deal with like newer people. And for some reason, every new person that they get are just like straight up rude. Like, they're really rude. All right. I don't know what's going on here. So, I'm just going to go into this with this brush and take it and fan it. All right, so, so far this palette, I don't know, I should really check if this palette's even old. I keep forgetting to do that because I don't know if the reason why it's not blending out is because it's old. Because I'm having more trouble right now blending out this shadow. See, like, it's a little patchy right here and that's not going away. All right, so I guess I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna just take a flat brush and I'm not a flat brush, but like, well, technically it's a flat brush, but I'm gonna take this and then apply this dark shade right here. I'll show you that in a second. 
you know what? This is how you know I'm really comfortable with it doing this because I'm actually letting my hair sit like this on camera. I don't normally do things like that. I feel like a housewife that stays at home and cleans up and you know the old like 50s kind of like stereotype thing. That's what I feel like. <laughs> Um, so I don't think this is really blending out very well. Well, it may. Let me just keep. Hmm. We'll see. Let me just keep going. I can make this work. Gotta have that mentality. You have to make it work. Make it work. I got this. So I'm just putting this in the outer corner, as you can tell. Trying to blend them two together, like this um, purpley kind of shade. And this brown. Holding this palette feels so weird right here. I don't know why. But it does. It feels really weird. So I'm going to take this brush again and I'm just going to kind of fan this part out because I see that like harsh line. And of course it doesn't want to blend out. I'm not sure. I got to keep remembering this palette is broken and I keep like moving it. Oh my goodness. All right, so I think that kind of blend out really well. I kind of like it, but I don't know. I gotta keep playing around and we're gonna see. Sorry, my friend called me. Okay, so I am actually liking it. It kind of looks really nice. Like I just find it really difficult to blend the shadows, I don't know why. Like, I, the other palettes are fine. I do like it, though. I like the colors. It's, like, neutral, but, like, there's, like, a, you're able to do, like, a pop of color. Okay, now I'm going to just take... Let me see, can I use this? I'm gonna use this color really, this brush, and I'm just going to kind of fan that right here. I'm just using that same shade that I had used previously. Just to blend those together. All right. Okay, so I think that's coming out nice. Um, now I just really need to figure out which... All right, so I think I'm gonna just go in with this shimmer shade right here. And you know what? I wanna kinda try this broken one. Let's see if I can use it. Mm, there's a lot of fallout because it's broken just keep that in mind it's not like it's not like really um uh how do you call it there's not a lot of fallout when i was using the other shadows so this is probably because of the fact that it's broken so just keep that in mind that shadow is actually really nice If 
anybody knows how to fix this, please put it in the comments. If not, I'll look, but it's like, I just know I'll probably forget to even like look to see how to fix shadows that are broken. I feel like I could put like alcohol in on it or something but I don't want to be wrong and I know when I'm done this I'm gonna just end up forgetting that I was that I need to figure that out but the shadow does look really nice I really do like it so I think obviously I'm gonna use a lighter shade now because that's just the way that I do things Keep forgetting I have my my drink with me <sighs> okay so I think I'm gonna go in with the shade that I was pointing at earlier I think I'm gonna go in with that one and I'm gonna put this right here It's okay. Doesn't look too bad. It looks okay. Doesn't look too bad. You know what I just realized? I feel like when I mentioned about using this finger, to apply your inner corner. I think I called it the index finger. Isn't this the index finger? This is the ring finger. So yeah, pretty much just use your ring finger to put the inner corner highlight that you're, or the inner corner sh uh, shimmer shade that you're gonna put on. It's easier, you can get your finger right into like the, right in here. Okay, so I actually do like it. It looks pretty good. I think I'm just more like upset because the shadow broke. So. All right, so I think I'm just going to leave it like this and I will show you the end results when I'm done and I can take out my hair and everything like that. So... I will be back and to show you the end results. All right, guys. So this is the completed look. So I do like the palette. It's not a bad palette, but I feel like th since it broke, I'm not really a fan. But other than that, like, I mean, you kind of have to work with the shades. I don't know if it's because it's an old palette or something because, uh, TJ Maxx is norm like the normal place where things can be like old. So it's best to actually look at how old it is. There's like a website, but I can't remember what it is. I actually found it on TikTok. So I may find it again and put it in here. But if I don't, I'm sorry. But um, there is like a website that you can go on to find out if your makeup is old so I think the next time I'm going to probably go, when I go to TJ Maxx, I'm probably going to just look up because I know all you have to do is put in, I think, one of these numbers down here and it'll tell you when it was made and how long is it good for and if it's expired. So I think I want to do that the next time I go because I did buy like a bunch of palettes and I did not look for the expiration date and I should have, but overall like i mean the palette is nice it's still blended out nice it still had nice colors um i don't know if this is actually still available anywhere so um if i do find it i will put it down in the description box but i do have other palettes that i'm going to be reviewing so you could probably find these other ones on um alta's website or the actual website 
that they have. I'm pretty sure you could probably find it on their actual website, just not probably at Ulta. Because when I looked at Ulta, they they had like a limited like amount and that's pretty much normal. So yeah. Um, but overall, I do like it. It did come out nice. Um, I'd probably use it again, but probably at a random time, not like every day. It's not an everyday palette for me right now. Honestly, like I don't have an everyday palette because I'm always like whenever now, whenever I'm about to do my makeup, I tend to just do something quick and then keep it moving. But if I'm going to do like a video, I have like different palettes that I would like to use to show you more looks. So I don't really have an everyday palette right now. But usually when I just do an everyday look, it's literally a brown shade from almost any palette, a brown shade. And then I put in the middle a highlight. Like either my highlight for um, the face or I'll just take a highlight from any random palette and I'll just put it on. So honestly, that's all I really do if it's like just an everyday look for me. And again, I don't put foundation on. So I literally just put bronzer, uh, blush and highlight and I do my concealer and set it and then call it a day. And I put bronzer all over my face. So, and then I do my eyebrows and then I do my lashes like for my everyday look. So that's pretty much all I really do. I don't really do anything like crazy when I'm not recording. So um, yeah, I should be getting my package that I was pro I was trying to do for this video today. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna do another look with that palette when it comes in. But I have others that are coming in, so I'm going to probably have enough videos to put up for the time being. And since classes are almost over, I can post up a little bit more, hopefully. But I like to keep myself on a schedule, so I've been trying to put a video like every other day. So, yeah. Um, but on to my hair. Now, I've been taking, if nobody knows, I have been taking the um, Sugar Bear Hair Vitamins they're like a little bear that are like blue. Um, I don't have mine next to me. It's actually upstairs. I'm so sorry. Uh, give me one sec. All right. So I've been taking these vitamins. I think this might actually be the three months already that I've been taking them. And my hair did grow. But the problem is, is that it's not the sugar bear hair vitamins. They are actually like helping my hair grow because... Right now, like, this much is all healthy. The rest is dead. So it's really kind of like like making my, my ends more instead of, like, out. Does that make sense? Like, instead of it pushing it out, it's actually like the split end is actually going up while it's growing. So I kind of need to go and get my hair cut. So right now... My hair is super thin, so it's this, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is where it's at right now, um, but my hair is thin, so I need to go and get it cut, I need to dye it because um, I have a bunch of gray hair now because I'm stressed from school and I'm 30, so, you know, gray hair tends to pop in one, you know, unexpectedly sometimes, and, you know when you don't want it to so yeah my hair is pretty much like this is basically my long pieces but then this is like really short so my hair is fucked up so I kind of need to go and get it done and I need to dye it to help put the moisture I guess back in because what I'm using so many different type of products to help put moisture back into my hair and it's not working right now. I don't know what the heck it is, but it's not working. So I've been trying to keep my hair curly, but my hair isn't curling. It's not curling at all because the ends are damaged. So I need to like do something. It's like the the um, moisture is not there. So I need to either like go chop my hair off and start over or dye it and just cut it off a little bit. Because I may have to cut it up to this length that I have right here. Because like I said, 
these are two different lengths. Like, look, these are two different lengths. So I'm going to have to probably chop it. So we'll see about that. I got to make an appointment with this girl named Sam. I, I, I keep forgetting how to say her name, but she did my hair the last time in my other video. So I got to make an appointment with her to actually get my hair cut. So hopefully that's soon. And yeah, so overall, the vitamins are helping my hair grow. It's just not growing as healthy because of the fact that, see, like, look at that. It's literally like two different lengths. So, and I have no layers in my hair. Like, my, I didn't cut layers in my hair. It just naturally came like that because of how damaged my hair is. So, I need to go and do that. But other than that, like, the vitamins are working. They are working. It's just my doing that I need to actually fix my hair. So, in order for me to do that, I tend to dye my hair. So, that way, the moisture, like, the dark moisture could go back into it to put some type of moisture in it. So, that's just the way that I do my hair. Not a lot of hairstylists think that works. But to me it does so sorry that's just the way that I think I know how to do my own hair um so yeah uh this is it I will give you another update you'll probably notice when I come back that my hair is probably going to be a little bit shorter but my hair is like super fine it's super fine it's super thin like I'll take it back out let me brush it too so that way you can see so this is my hair right now it's like super thin. It's super thin. So I I don't know. I'll show you again what it looks in the back. Let me brush it. I try to curl it with the um things, but it doesn't work. So this is what my hair looks like. Um it's super thin, so again, I need to cut it. I need to do something with it. If anybody knows what else I could do for it, please leave it in the comments. Um, so yeah, I will be back soon. I really do hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If, you know, if you're not a subscriber either, can you subscribe and you know click the notification button next to it to get all my future uploads? That would be very greatly appreciated. <laughs> all right, guys, have a good week. I will be back very soon. Bye.